Thank you for tuning in to another episode of 420 Grams on NewsClick.in. A day after the champion sides of the ISL and the Hero ID clashed in what is the most successful ever domestic club competition, the Hero Super Cup, which has been in the news for all the right reasons. Agreed? You don't agree. But let me tell you our panel today. Our panel consists of a Hero ISL supporter, that is me, someone who's been supporting the Hero ILS I League and who's got a trim. Beard trim before coming on the show for this because yahan pe bhai I League wale jeet ke aaye hain Sudan Dani ha kya baat hai and someone who loves sitting on the fence is uh, Vaibhav Raghunandan always always now on the before we talk about that game because baat ye ho rahi hai ki hum na bahut lamba discussion leke jate hain so we are putting a timer of 15 minutes which means i'm putting the timer on right now as soon as the clock touches 15 irrespective of what you might be saying that you're the best person in the world or whatever shows over Okay? And so we begin. Who's starting? I think the winner needs to start. No, first wait. No, no, no. no. Slow clap. Why, why slow, guys? And thank you. I'm happy to take all the credit <laughs> for Chennai's entire season. Thank you. The, so the, 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 uh, reaction was uh, the polar opposite of Sunil's reaction. Exuberant. Anti-national. Our country's captain. Wait, the re most remarkable thing was that I, I don't think there's ever been a game where I've so been sort so of partisan. Yeah, and like a game that Sunil is playing hmm. and wanting him to be on the losing side of things <laughs> actively. Yeah. So. It was a fun experience. Did it, did it, did it live up to your expectations? Because I'll be honest, man. Oh, I mean, I, I don't think it lived up to my expectations. I don't know what expectations you <laughs> had. <laughs> no, I, 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 was, I, was, I was expecting something better. Yeah. I thought there were many things wanting from both sides. Yes, you got three goals. But I still felt the midfield of both these sides was pretty much non-existent for large, large parts of the game. That means, Jesse, you have won your half mein ball. You have a empty space pada hai to reach the attacking third. Which is what Chennai was doing in their goals that they scored. Yeah. And Bengaluru were building up play slowly, but they were also not being tackled in the middle that much. Dimas Delgado had all the space on the planet to move the ball around and call the shots. We had, uh, we were at the Super Cup last year, same time. It's hard as hell. Like it's, uh, the humidity levels are off the roof. Yeah. Uh, minute way, the so the intensity of the game yeah. automatically is... Like there's, I mean, no one can play in those conditions. Any no, no one have anywhere in the, the world. You're playing in the evening time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't get, it doesn't the get. The uh, heat, it's and just, I mean, you can see it after ten minutes when they do close-ups of the players. It's like a, uh, their t-shirts are just drenched. Mm. You can just see that they're mm. being wasted away. I also thought the game was very different in the first half and in the second half in terms of how Chennai were approaching it particularly. After some time, they decided to, okay, hold off. And the fact that this was, in a way, a different strategy from the way they've been playing all season long because of the opposition that they were playing against and the fact that I think they were pretty desperate to get a result and make a point in this game. Like, what happens the rest of the, this, like you said, the most important com competition of the calendar year doesn't make a damn difference. I mean, we won. No, but I think but that's I, what like I'm. I'm the reason I'm on the fence is simply because I don't know if this is the attitude that they went into. Like uh, at the end of the day, it is a quarter final. Yeah. So my big question, first of all, is also ki yar, itna acha match, two champion sides in the quarter final. Like आपने इतनी जल्दी क्यों खिला दिया ये मैच? आपने थोड़ी छानबीन करी और हाँ इसमें छानबीन यही करी थी कि हम we expect that this they do some seeding process and they would put these guys on the opposite sides of the draw like you do in any yeah, other. If you won your league in the ISL and I league then आप absolutely, absolutely. you are seeded one one and you go on the opposite side of the draw but that's not how they do it. Evidently they put a lot of thought into making sure that I league teams play ISL teams in the first round. Okay. They put a lot of thought into the qualifiers and after that they don't give a damn. That's all there is to No, but then when someone must have been making the draw, they would have said, Achha, yaha pe Chennai jeeti, waha pe Bengaluru jeeti, yaha pe Chennai jeeti, waha pe Bengaluru, or dono champion sides quarterfinal mein aagay. Uh -huh. So, also, the, I can tell you directly what Kushal Das had said to me, which was, ki, this is like India playing Kushal Das being the AIFF uh, yes. secretary. 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 Yes. Hmm. Saying that uh, this is like India playing Pakistan in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. See, this is what happens when yeah. 
नो डिसरिस्पेक्टमेंट बट क्रिकेट पीपल एंड फुटबॉल पीपल शुड बी सेपरेट चल ठीक है ये सब बातें हो रही ना दिस इज ऑल थिंग्स दैट आर हैपनिंग आउटसाइड ऑफ द फील्ड बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द 90 मिनट्स और एज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ आज लेजली देवियर सेड 94 मिनट्स Because football, there is always four minutes of there is a f- four minutes of added time. Uh, the two goals that Chennai scored were all Bengaluru defensive errors, right? But having said that, they're Spanish boys. Yeah, going forward. Kal maine pehli bari I saw these Spanish boys playing, and they're special. This because man. this is the first time you saw an I League team play this season. Second. Good boy. देखो जी झूठ नहीं बोलना है जो है सच सो है इफ आई हैव गिवन इफ आई एम गिवन एन ऑप्शन ऑफ चूजिंग बिटवीन टू लीग्स आई एम चूजिंग मैं इसको देख रहा हूं यार ठीक है उसमें क्या हो गया 100% थैंक यू चूज अदर लीग्स या लाइक लाइक यू चूज अदर लीग्स गिव अस द चॉइस वी विल पिक द आई बट बेंगलुरुस डिफेंस वाज बेंगलुरुस डिफेंस वाज ऑल ओवर द प्लेस यार दे वर दे वर नॉट द बैक फोर ऑफ जेनेरो द यंग द ऑल इंडियन ऑल फोर इंडियन ऑल फोर इंडियन बॉयज टेकिंग ऑन द मोस्ट potent attacking force in the history of but meeku thoda thaka wala lag raha tha yaar meeku thoda thaka wala lag raha tha kal yaar wo to mausam bhi aisa hi hai yeah and also it's the end of a long season he seemed, seemed alright when he was jostling with the keeper at the end of the game though no thaka. like towards the end of the game when he was giving that outside pass aram se wo chennai city ka defender is stopping and that gives you an indication that the player is not switched on Hmm. at the moment in fact even chetri did not have uh, his best game yesterday yeah. no, chetri was by no means yeah by no means chetri they they troubled chetri and uh, he himself was losing I his i think it was also clear in the way that he just in the in the post match you, you never see him react to any result victory or defeat like the way he did he was evidently really frustrated with himself he walked off he just immediately walked off went took a breather on the ice box and then came back in so you can see that the, he also by his own standards probably didn't live up to it so then uh, sorry yeah yeah one one thing that i think which which is sort of touched upon is ki chennai's defense was really good these four boys but also there was also they were also made to look good by the fact that we were discussing this also when we were watching the game that bangalore just refused to reset they just kept going up trying the same thing trying the same thing winning the ball back trying the ball outside yeah just there's no there was no desire to try something else go back spread it out then bring it back into the center yeah i mean i i barely saw them break something uh, i mean i barely saw them breaking chennai through the middle yeah they were absolutely. always trying to spread out to danta or ishu kumar that you mentioned where yeah. chetri did the out step over the top mm-hmm. but like those balls aren't going to come off on a regular basis through the game uh absolutely On the night, Chennai City the better team. Yeah. <laughs> On the night, huh? It's I a game of ninety minutes. No, <laughs> 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 nee, but the Spanish boys were really, really good, yeah. And even Edwin Van Spall looked really oh, good, yeah. Super. Huh? Super. Ajit super. at the back. Ajit and Edwin, both of them. Okay. The, but would you agree that I mean, going forward, they were given so much space, yeah. There were some times that you know, there was no aspas thai ni. Even in fact, when uh, the second Chennai goal was scored. the defenders kept backing off kept, kept backing off kept backing off kept backing off i'm thinking ab pair dal ab tackle kar ab was, kar and, and if you had it. analyzed chennai city's game if you had just seen like five of their games from last season which even i think you would have done if you were going to go and play them right like you would have seen, yeah, yeah, seen a little bit of chennai city yeah. you would have known that pedro manzi is going to do this wo aayega he will cut in and he's going to take a shot i think he scored at least three or four goals like this through the season this is this is almost a pet detail so then why are you allowing him why are you allowing them the space why are you allowing them to play these passes It's the same thing each time and i think chennai had several of these chances they wasted a lot of them they wasted a lot of chances on the counter it was actually good to see these boys from the south there yeah, down south you know the lanky boys down south and uh, so much skill <coughs> and the confidence you are calling me anti national imagine <laughs> being that 20 year old defender right who has to Uh, face off with this legend yeah captain leader legend huge figure hmm. in terms of his aura and everything and also the fact that he is such an intelligent player in terms of an attacking player to defend against so so i mean like full marks yeah and the keeper guys uh, who's who played half the season with neroka yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, so I, i met him when we were in imphal uh, in october nice chilled out guy Quiet, doesn't speak too much English. Keeps to himself, but what a night he had! Yeah. In fact, in fact, yeah, yeah, more more than the Chetri <laughs> penalty, yeah, uh, yeah, was the, there was that cross that Odanta put in. 
And yes. Chetri hit it and what a save that was on the right here when he kept it down low. Remember, yeah, for a yeah, goalkeeper to make true. a save down below Precisely. is tougher when it's than Absolutely. you know when it's something in the Especially air. Especially a tall guy like him. Foot, six, six foot seven. Yeah. yeah, that was a. I mean, several moments like that. There were several moments where he came out, rushed in. He took a shot on his shin also. I, I don't quite remember who it was from. Hmm. And very brave goalkeeping. Definitely man of the match. And I think Akbar Nawaz also admitted as much, saying that. He was the guy who really took them through. If I'm going to talk about Bengaluru, I'm going to say, look, Dimas Delgado was calling all the shots. He was given time also on the ball, so he was yeah. calling all the shots. But the guy who was with him, I've forgotten his name, yeah. Uh, Hernandez or the Foreign. other foreigner with him, hmm. he just didn't look up to the mark. In, in the game. Yeah, and, and I guess that sort of tells you why we didn't see much of him in the ISL. Because the guy was not having any impact on the game. Yeah? He was just getting the ball and spraying it right or spraying it left. I mean, all his passes and whatever his contribution was, it wasn't having any impact in Bengaluru going forward. And it was, this game was calling for someone to sit in the middle and just sit there. Mm -hmm. And stop those, count not counters, but just stop those guys through the middle and give them that ample amount of space <clears throat> that both teams were getting in the middle. Yeah? Everyone was either rushing forward or everyone was either rushing back. You know, beach mein koi hold karke bat ke khaili nahi raha yaar. Except for Dimas Delgado, who I think saw the maximum amount of ball yeah. in the 90 minutes. Yeah, probably did. Yeah. So if you look at, I think the first half possession stats were 53-47, yeah. no, right? No, goes by those stats. No, no, I'm just saying. So what, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is maybe one of preparation, maybe one of desire also, for Chennai City to win this game means far more. Than for Bangalore, perhaps to have. I mean, all, although they'll feel terrible about it because I, think Bengaluru I know they really they approach every tournament that they enter as, as the favourites and history wanting history. to win it. Yeah. yeah. So of course they'll feel gutted by the loss, but the maybe the desire that these boys had to prove a point that this is, especially given everything that's going on with the league structure and and all of the future of the champions. I mean, they've been in a way arm twisted into playing this tournament. Because there was a chance that their AFC berth would go for a toss otherwise. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe otherwise they would have, in solidarity with the other clubs, also not participated. But they did and they've come with the mentality of winning it. And this Akbar Nawaz has, in the first half, he's made sure that at least they're not getting that much room to play that his boys are keeping the ball as much as possible and showing that they are not just going to sit and wait. Look, we have, we have three minutes left on the <laughs> show. So, I'm just going to put it out there for you. Favourites for the Super Cup now? After this result? And just given the fact that they're draining like uh, conditions and you've yeah, played yeah, yeah. a Every massive 90 minutes harder. versus a Bengaluru. Yeah. So, mentally also you're drained a little bit. Yeah. What do you think? If they win the Super Cup, then what? Uh, go? Oh, that's like a, well, that's a whole other 15 minutes. <laughs> if they win the Super Cup, then what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that was yeah, favourites. Favourites, favourites for you? Yeah, I guess favourites. I mean, the challenge will be Goa is like after the high of uh, switching back on then. Yeah, coming back for another big one. Hmm. Uh, Goa would be the yeah, the obvi obvious other contender, yeah. but I think like they are conveniently on the other side of the draw. Okay, okay I'll tell you what. So we have about one and a half minutes. I'm giving everyone 30 30 seconds I to. I have a lot of time, guys. I'm going to smile for the rest of the show. <laughs> Sir, I'm listening to you. 30 seconds to sum up uh, this match. This match. The, that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm still like, I'm going to just give you a really balanced thing. Ki, boss, this was a very good game of football. I don't know what your expectations were. I had a great time watching it. It was after really long that I watched there was it. Context to it. Yeah, yeah. Great there was night yeah, great night of football. Like I mean, in in a season when there's so many meaningless matches and there's so much drab football, this was one match which had which was loaded with meaning, well, a meaning that it had and meaning that it was just given also. And then there was the expectation, everything. And so I genuinely enjoyed it. It was after really long that I saw such a great game of football. And in fact, this was something that I had put out and I had I've told almost everyone who has asked me about the game, that where we were sitting and watching the game, when we walked in, the IPL was on the projector. Both screens. Both screens. 30 uh, seconds. Okay. And at the end, by uh, in the second half, the guy came and he got, when we shifted the football to the big screen, IPL was on the small screen. So, win to, I love football. I love football, huh? <laughs> Sir, uh, 30 and counting, Akbar Nawaz for coach of the season? Yeah, 100. 
100. I mean, he's shown his tactical acumen. I don't need to say anything else. I mean, his football says it for him. Right then, Siddhant Aini backing the I-League. Bhavu Raghunandan backing the fence. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of 420 Grams. We promised you 15 seconds. 5, 15, 15 oh. 4, 3, 2, 1. We're not going to go. We're going to go. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.